What's going on, everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic Monday. It's your boy Grant here with another awesome adventures in Eagle territory, and today we're going to look at all the ins and outs that make Eagle Eyes so unique. Maybe give you a little idea of what you'd feel like if you had Eagle Eyes inside your own head. So, before we can even get into Eagles, let's take a little bit of time to look at human eyes ourselves. So, us at humans, Inside our eyes, each of our eyes contains what we refer to as a fovea. And these foveas are locations where the abundance of our photoreceptors are stored. You have rods on one hand, and you have cones on the other. And I'm not talking about pretzels or ice cream, I'm talking about color vision and the grayscale. So rods, those will let you, let you see. If I had all the lights in this room turned off right now, I'd be able to see in the grayscale. That's what rods help you do. They let you see at nighttime. Whereas cones, on the other hand, let you see the reds, the blues, the greens, and everything in between. So when it comes to us as humans, we flourish when it comes to light out, the daytime. That's what lets us see all the colors that we like to take in. So in the center of our foveas, we have these unique structures called the fovea centralis. And that's where all these cones are concentrated at, near the center. So in our eyes as humans, we have about 200,000 cones per square millimeter. So a tiny little millimeter by millimeter box at the back of our eyes. And this lets us take in all that color and light. 200,000, that sounds like a pretty big number, right? Well, unfortunately, we have to look at one of the most prominent, amazing eyes in the world, and that are eagle eyes themselves. So they immediately, I say to people that come and visit the center, Metaphorically, us as humans are dust compared to eagles, and they quite literally sweep us under the rug. In an eagle's eye, not only do they have a fovea in each, they have two in each of them. They have a temporal and a central fovea. So already, they take in twice the amount that we do when it comes into focusing on their fovea centralis. But really what it is, is the abundance that makes up their vision. At the center of their fovea centralis, they have about a million cones per square millimeter five times the amount of color and light that we take into our eyes in each of their four fovea. So double the amount of fovea and five times the amount of light that they can absorb in each of them. So really what defines eagle eyes and eagle vision, that big term out there, the eagle eye, is not only do they see about four times greater at distance than we do as humans, but it's their ability to make up that small, tiny details so far away. That's why we know that some of our ambassadors from their position here at the National Eagle Center in our Super Me space, looking out the windows across the way to Wisconsin, some three miles away, they can make out something as small as a rabbit on that bluff line. That's incredible. Could you imagine seeing a rabbit that far away? Whew. I would only pay to have eyesight like that. Now let's bump it up a little bit, something a little bit better. Something as large as a white-tailed deer, they can see that up to five miles away. Absolutely incredible. Five miles away, can you imagine how, how good of a hunter you would be down on the ground, if you could see a deer running from you five miles away, quite literally, you'd be a sharpshooter. That's quite impressive. So not only is their vision incredible, but let's imagine us as humans having that. So what I want you to envision in your head is you're standing on one end of an end zone on a football field. And all the way at the other end of that football field, at the end of that end zone, so including an extra 20 yards, 120 yards away, you have an eye doctor. That eye doctor is holding up their seeing eye chart with all the letters on it. If you had the sight of an eagle, you'd be able to read the smallest line on that seeing eye chart 120 yards away. Absolutely incredible. Just take a moment to think about that. Yeah, amazing. Now what's really unique about their eyes though is how big they are. In terms of scale, our eyes are about the same equivalent to eagle eyes in their skull, but they have to fit it into a much smaller, more compact area. Their skull is only so big. So here in the state of Minnesota, my best joke I like to say that is if we had to fit all the functions of an eagle eye into our skulls, remember, Minnesota, that we as humans would have eyes the size of hockey pucks. Uh-huh, that is huge. For those of you out there that wear prescription lenses, Imagine how much money and material you'd have to pay for lenses like that. I just got out of college. Fortunately, I don't have glasses, but if I had to pay that much, I would be bankrupt in an instant. So eagles, all I can say is that I hope that they never take their eyesight for granted because it truly is amazing. What really though does separate us from eagles is the fact that our eyes have enough room to have muscles on the back that lets me have the freedom to do this. 
I get to look around. Whereas their eyes are so big in their skulls that they don't get to move them freely. So instead what they do is we have seven vertebrae inside of our neck. Having an extra 14 helps them get all the turn radius that they need to take in all their different sights, which is really fascinating. And talking about different vertebrae in the necks, and one of their counterparts that also likes to turn their heads a whole lot is the difference between being active during the day and active during the night. And I'm talking about the difference between those nocturnal creatures as well as diurnal creatures. So I like to say that visitors that come and see us every day that those of us that work third shift, I totally respect you for it, but like us, bald eagles are sleeping at night and active in the day. The night shift, that is reserved for the owls. So pictured here is a barred owl flying at night, and as opposed to being bald eagles having an abundance of cones inside of their eyes, the owls, they actually flourish on night vision. They have an abundance of rods. But don't think of it like the classic night vision that we have when you turn on like a camera where it's green, you see in the green scale. Instead, they're just much better at making out shapes in darkness that really helps them flourish at nighttime. Whereas when as you look at something like a bald eagle, so to say, like us, creatures that are active during the day, they flourish on abundance of light that helps them see and move around their spaces. So take that into consideration. Imagine if we had as many rods as owls do. Oh, and then you include in the cones from eagles, we'd have immaculate eyesight, but if we had to fit all those functions into our faces, into our eyes, I don't think I have something on scale that could show how big that would be. Probably be the size of like one of those big cookie pizzas. That'd be just eyes that are too big to even comprehend. So yeah, everybody. We learned all about eyes today, and I hope you get to take away something new that you get to tell your friends about. How amazing eagle vision is, how abundant they can clear, and how well they can decipher those great details at such far distances away. So that's all the time we have today on this Adventures in Eagle territory. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves, and we totally look forward to seeing you sometime soon this upcoming week. Y'all have a great rest of your day.